the red corner tonight, wearing the red trunks. He weighed in at the 105 pounds. His record, eight wins, only one defeat. Seven of his wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Polo Molok, South Cotabato del Sur. Please welcome Vic Vicious Saludar. Your judges for this bout are Romeo Fordalisa, Brembo Dulalas, and Sabas Pompon Jr. Third man in the ring, Elizaldo Resma. Eight rounds of boxing. Boxer, boxer. Yes, ma'am. Okay, boxer, this is only eight rounds of boxing. Let me talk about boxing, you know? Tapat ulang yung, you know? In case of what you're going to talk about, you're going to play in order. Shit hand first in the last round. Okay, good luck. You're watching Pinoy Pride 29, Fists of Fury. Coming to you live from Davao City. Bill Velasco here with Manny Pinol. And you are watching our third offering this evening. Vic Saludar versus Lester John Tronco. Saludar is a former amateur standout. Uh, he used to be a member of the uh, Manabu boxing team of uh, former congressman Tony Boy Florent of Davao. Lester John Pronko, uh, on the other hand, belongs to a very tough boxing uh, club of Bukitnon under Dr. Saul. And they are known to be power punchers. His record is a very good. Six KOs in nine wins, uh, eight losses, three of them by KO. For a total of 18 fights. Vic Saludar, on the other hand, has uh, won uh, eight fights. Seven by knockout. Seven by knockout. One loss, but by KO for a total of nine. No, no, no. Uh, so between the two, you, uh, you would say that uh, Bronco is the risk taker. He is the risk taker, but uh, I think uh, Big Saldar would have the uh, richer experience because of his uh, years in the amateur competition. And he was one of the more outstanding amateurs, true. actually. And uh, pretty long reach, also. And he used to be a member of the Philippine national boxing team. Yes. No! Bring up! A warning Go. for the Bronco. Uh, improper decorum. Well, Early in the first round, they're Big testing up. each other. Go. Getting entangled quite often. First minute. Bronco in yellow. Saludar in red. And we're coming to you from uh, Davao City. Yes. Southern Philippines. This is the uh, biggest city in the world in land area, and it's ranked as the fourth safest city in the world, too, under uh, its mayor, Rudy Duterte. Very progressive uh, city, part of the East Asian growth area. BIMP Yaga, yes. Saludar seems stiff, actually, Bill. True. He's stiff. Bronco seems to be lying in wait, so... Referee has to prod them to throw more punches. Oh, the wild miss there. A good left again by Saldar. Saldar found an opportunity and he's going for it, wailing away. Oh. Oh. Out of power. You can see the hip rotation of Saldar. Really putting acceleration into those punches. Sign of great amateur training. See Saludar cutting the ring, there, allowing Bronco to turn the defense him around. of Bronco actually is very loose. Yes. There He's, goes the right again by Jessica. He, he doesn't recoil. He doesn't pull back his uh, Stop. fist. Very good first round for uh, Saludar. Very good first round indeed.
Round two scheduled for eight. Saludar in the red and gold against Bronco in the yellow with black trim. And it was an impressive first round performance by the former amateur standout, Vic Saludar. Bronco's defense was uh, very poor, yes, to say the least. Saludar getting a lot of speed on his punches, especially his left. But you cannot count Bronco out actually this oh, early no. because he has the power uh, build. And uh, in the nine fights that he won, he scored six knockouts. No, 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 no. And that's an indication that uh, he has the power. Oh, oh. Warning. Another warning for Bronco. And Bronco has so far been patient, not really forcing his search for a knockout. getting a little predictable you know, the kick step whenever he tries to throw his jab pretty quiet second round so far Saladar content to throw a variety of lefts good right uppercut by uh, Vic Saladar caught him guessing that time sharp eyes yes he waits for the opening and unleashes punches that uh, Bronco actually could not avoid. I love that left. Yes. It's not just a distraction, it's a weapon. But it's kind of long. Yes. And his reaction time is pretty good too. See, Bronco doesn't cover up right away after throwing a punch. And that's where Saludar's been getting it. They're just standing in the middle of the ring. If only Vic Saludar could shorten the travel time of the left hook after the build, that would be more uh, vicious. Yes. Ooh. Needs a lot of improvement, actually. But the repertoire of punches is there. Yes. Sharp eyes. Reflexes. Probably is a little befuddled at this stage. Because he's planning something, and then Saludar gets to him first. Bronco has not thrown a decent punch after this. Since the start of this fight. There he goes, missing with the right. A lot of them are uh, off the mark, a little sloppy. Right? On the second round, that went by quickly. Another good round for Saludar. Yes, indeed. Saludar in red, Lester Jan Pronko in uh, yellow. This is in the uh, junior flavor. I'm, st I'm starting to wonder if Saludar shouldn't be fighting as a south point. He's been throwing a lot of left. So you could see that actually from former amateur standouts. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Which is unusual for pros. Yeah. Basically using his right as a backup. Good right there by Bronco. Bronco. Very encouraging. The jab of uh, Saludar has done its job. The combination by Saludar. His timing is really working to his advantage here. He attacks from 
up every time Kong steps in. That was a lateral movement from Kong. No, 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 no. Hey, go. Another warning. This is Sinoi Pride 29. Yes. Here is uh, Davao City. Lester Jump Prong for 8 yellow. That's all going up against Big Saludar. It's going to be 4 8 light flyweight division. Bar Saludar has been dictating this fight. Good ring movement by Big Saludar. That's a warning. That last one. The left hook was on the belt line. Bronco's punches have not been precise. Bronco's corner men are telling him to go to the midsection. Maybe they saw something there. They know it's a long fight. It's only the third round. Maybe they want to ripen uh, Salvador for a knockout. So far, Salvador is just clearly outboxing Bronco. Very hard to hit this moving time. Here's your guns. Good right by Salvador. Very high quality ah. punches coming from Big Salvador. That's the end of round number three. scheduled for eight this is going to be a long fight yes and big saludar would be happy to have it that way he's been leading so far <laughs> yes and bronco has been missing with those punches he goes to the midsection can't get a clear target saludar has had him figured out Saludar content to step back, throw the jab, a couple of combinations, spin him around. Very accurate bouncing there by uh, Big Saludar. Good left to the bit section. Well, the question is, is this all that Bronco has? Every time he tries to move forward, Saludar has that jab in his face. Like a machine. Bronco's disadvantage here, Bill, is that uh, he doesn't have as much of uh, a variety of punches as Big Salvador. His arsenal is more limited. He's just relying on that uh, left and section, on the right of the head. And uh, Salvador, oh, oh. I suppose. Yeah. I've seen this before. <laughs> Good right by Big Saludar. Saludar, again, he's, he's striking from a safe distance. Not oh, allowing Bronco to get in on him. Whoa. Good right to the head. Scored by Bronco. Sitting duck. 
makes a lot are methodical with his punches here. Lomper seems to be looking for a, an ideal situation to strike. Well, that was a good uppercut. Salodar has been baiting Bronco. He steps back, then waits for Bronco to approach. Fourth round winding down. Another great round for Big Saludar. Yep. Look at that. More yes, of the same. Yes, yes. No. Cool. Frustration there. Yes. Starting from the part of. Ah. Handle the Handle the four. He might have a shutout. and Lester John Bronco slowly sinking into the quicksand of Vic Saludar's game plan. Vic Saludar is a brother, I believe, who was with a flyweight, Roylan Saludar. Which only tells us one thing, that they're never going to get into the ring against each other. Or that one of them is going to have to move up and wait. Yeah. Good left by left hook by Saludar. He's been able to extricate himself and pretty much take this fight the way he wants to go. But more activity now in Bronco. Bronco trying to throw a little more, try to do a little more damage, slow Saludar down. No, 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 no. Break up! Saludar is from uh, Polumulok, South Cotabato. Yes. But uh, as an amateur fighter, he fought for the no! uh, Banabo uh, boxing team. That Banabo is, is uh, one of uh, the towns of uh, Davao del Norte. Yes. Fifth warning against uh, Bronco for all sorts of misbehaviors. Solid hit there. Good so the uppercut. Yes. No, Sometimes no. got a lot of tools. Hello. Oh, no. He seems to come up with something new every time from uh, Bronco attacks. So far, I, I haven't given Bronco any of the first four rounds. This is the first time I am seeing a uh, big Saludar fight actually appear. And uh, judging from the way he throws his punches and the degree of power behind those punches, I would assume no! that uh, the knockouts of this court are were scored by the sheer number of punches. That Compilation. He doesn't really that have that uh, one punch knockout. He'll wear you down. Break up! Go. Bronco, on the other hand, looking for Break up! one hit wonder here. Uh, this is Pinoy Pride 29. And uh, we're coming to you from the uh, University of Southeastern Philippines Gymnasium in Davao City. A lot of uh, changes in the city over the past few years. Very uh, warm, modern, friendly. Yep. Business environment. Life is easy here. Yes. Food is affordable. The city streets are safe. Oh, yeah. In fact, the mayor here assures people that if your wife gets mocked, 
in the middle of the night in the streets of Davos City, then we're not safe. All right, another round to Vic Saludar, despite the best efforts of uh, Lester Bronco. If you're Bronco's corner now, Manny, Saludar's piled up quite a lead by this point. Five rounds gone by, three rounds left. What do you do? Well, you just have to press the fight because there's no way Bronco can win this fight of points. You just have to go for the knockout Manza. It's a do or die uh, option for uh, Lester John Bronco. But that's the only hope that he has to win this fight. Yes. Because if he matches punch for punch with Big Saludar, he's not going to win this fight. Oh, no. Saludar, just a much more versatile and technically superior boxer. But you know the problem, uh, Bill, with uh, technically superior fighters, sometimes they get they get boring. Yeah, just like my weather. And uh, Vic Saludar will have to improve on his uh, dramatics in the ring. His uh, showmanship. Showmanship in the ring, especially here in the Philippines. That's he has the skills. Yes. He's young, and he will win a lot of fights. He will win a lot of fights. But he has to impress the crowd. Yes. Right now. Has to be a little more daring. Yep. Right now, he's impressive in as far as the number of punches thrown is concerned. And the quality. And punches. the quality. But uh, this is not the kind of fight that Filipino boxing fans yes. would like to watch. Yeah, we haven't heard the crowd roar yet. Yep. They want to see wild exchanges, and, you know, people, you know, getting hammered and throwing and dynamite Hello. but Saludar is more of a sculptor he will carve out a great win but he won't have any high points his trainers will have to shorten those punches actually yes no no in Spanish they call that corto short punches and they'll have more power yep. another warning for bronco no! bronco charging in with his head with the way bronco is fighting tonight uh, he will just be included in the uh, statistics the of, next victim uh, Vic Salodar's record and I think we've, we've seen, I think we've seen him max out already in this fight. Unless he's able to find an opening for a knockout punch. Oh, good. Look at that power, uh, pinpoint punch yes. by uh, Vic Saluda. His accuracy. No, 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 no. Bronco seems to be just, you know, trying to anger Saluda. Bronco is frustrated at yes. this point of the fight. He has no solution, which tells us that his corner doesn't either. Well, it's because he has been throwing the same punches all over, over, and over again. And missing. Yep. And as I've said earlier, Vic Salodar has memorized those punches. He sees them come. Another good round for Saludar. A one-sided round after the end. End of the sixth round. It's one of those cases where you can give Bronco an A for effort, but he'll still fail. Two more rounds. Blows or total misses. So his only hope of salvaging this bout is a knockout. But 
with the way Sarudar has been defending himself, yes. I think it is a remote possibility. And you know, one thing that not a lot of these young professionals have is the upper body you know, side to side movement and bobbing and weaving and ducking. And Sarudar has that down pat. So great foundation. On Round the, uh, seven, the, scheduled yes. for eight. Big Saludar. Well, dominating this fight actually. Look at that. Saludar pretty much just uh, scoring at will. Picking his spot. Look at that. But you have to give Lester John Bronco A for effort. Yes. I think they're going to have to break down Bronco's game and reconstruct it. Because athletically, in terms of power, he's got it. Yep. It's not been packaged properly. There's got to be a lot of overholding to be done with the fighting style. You know, it's, it's almost as if his corner is trying to dictate punch by punch. There are actually boxers who could not adjust inside the ring field. And these boxers actually are usually boxers who would not end up losers. Break up! Whoa. Coming up on the last minute of round seven. And you know, for, for Saludar, he's, he's, whether you knock the, the guy out oh, or good not, right there by Saludar, yeah. You know, it doesn't matter to him. He's winning this fight. Yeah. So, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Blood from the mouth, from the nose of... Uh, Bronco now. Yes. Adding to his frustration and Saludar just really sizing him up every time he steps forward. Left right there by Saludar. Uppercut. And Bronco starting to lose volume here. Punching less and less. Like I said, from the fourth round onward, he's been a sitting duck. Bloody nose. Bronco. One more round. That one went to Vic Salvador as well. Uh, look at this action from the seventh round and you can see the precision left and right and see he pushes him away so he can throw the long bombs one more round so unless any major disaster happens this fight will go to Vic Saladar clearly this all our bouts will feature foreign opponents one from Indonesia one from Thailand and three from Mexico Lester John Bronco will have to drop all bombs here. oh yes last pray chance one, pray one of them hits and all Saludar has to do is ride out this round 
and he will win by unanimous decision. Too late for those body punches. Yes. And you know, Prof has been using his head, his elbow, his, you know, his shoulder. But if he just concentrated on his game, studied his opponent, then maybe this would have been different. Excellent combination there by Picture perfect you know, Vic Salodar. Backed him up, and that's going to be in the minds of the judges. Oh, Bronco's knees buckled there. Yes. He walked into that one. Salodar's got the timing already. He's got the rhythm already. Nothing Bronco can do. It's a pity they don't pin me the uh, medals of Valerie yes. and uh, the boxing ring, actually. Oh, definitely. But Lester John Bronco showed a lot of courage tonight. But you know, in boxing, courage is not enough. Oh, it's not. You have to have skills. Go. As we mentioned, it's like walking into quicksand. Vic Saludar totally dominating Lester John Bronco. Totally. In his eight round fight. And he only has to get past the next 42 seconds. With a little more improvement in his punching power, in the way he delivers those punches, Vic Saludar could be a big name. And look, I think in I the think flyweight Bronco, division. Bronco in the years is in tomorrow. trouble here. Saludar now coming in. That's what I told you a while ago, Bill. He doesn't knock out his opponent with one punch. He'll wear you he down. Knocks, he knocks out his opponent with a sheer number of punches. Well, you Bloody don't, mess you don't knock face. down a tree in one chop. Oh, oh, I, I think oh. Bronco's really just out of it already. Oh. Battered his bruises. End bleeding. of the round and the end of the fight. <laughs> Absolutely. And Lester John Bronco walks to his corner with his face a bloody mess. And clearly, I, I give every round to Saludar. Same here. I mean, sad to say, but there was no adjustment. Slow mo of the rough round. Look at that right. Snapping back the head yes. of uh, Lester John Bronco. Look at that. Bloodying his nose again. And for the first time, Bronco backs off. Yes. <laughs> Still have five more fights after this. Then who's complaining? <laughs> Jump packed. USEP gym here in Davao City on a very uh, balmy Saturday evening here in the Philippines. And, uh, you know, I think we should tell uh, our listeners and our viewers uh, a bit of what Davao City is as we move along. All right. We will. The only city in the Philippines which has a speed limit of 30 kilometers per hour within its citizens. Except in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. The scores, Judge Romeo Fortaleza scores the bout 79-73. Judge Brembo Dulala scores the bout 78-74. And Judge Sabas Ponpon Jr. scores the bout 79-73, all for the winner by unanimous decision, Vic Vicious Saludar. As expected. A clear win for Vic Saludar, and he improved his record to nine wins, seven KOs, one loss for a total of ten fights. And when we return, 
We'll move up as Arjan Canillas takes on Stevie Onjen Ferdinandus of Indonesia when we come back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in a very short while, we will start off our series of Philippines versus our foreign 